Hi everyone, it's Chris at Cork and Crown. I'm going to try some more cider. A um, bit of a clue as to what I'm going to try right here. Uh, I'm going to try a wild rabbit. Wild rabbit from Secret Orchard. Um, they gave me this nice thing. I bought a, a 20 litre bagging box and you get this to pop on the top so people can see what it is. But um, uh, I'm not going to do that with it. I'm not sure. It's probably a mouse mat. Great mouse mat, possibly. Um, yeah, I'm sure I can think of something to do with it. It's a pretty little thing anyway. I might stick it on the wall. Um, so it's a draft cider, 6%. A blend. Um, so Secret Orchard are up on Exmoor. Uh, I was there yesterday, actually. In fact, I made a film of the Secret Orchard in question. Um, when I was there, just a short one. Uh, there was nobody around. I, they left the stuff for me. Uh, we're still in lockdown because of COVID, so distancing and all that. But I took the opportunity just to wander up to the gates and have a peek into the orchard and film it a bit for you. Uh, so yeah, so have a look at that video if you're interested to have a little peek into the secret orchard. Um, so it's draft. So I've just stuck it in one of my swing top bottles. Swing top bottle. Um, not too hazy. Uh, it's unfiltered, but not too hazy. It's a still side of this because it's straight out of a box. Um, quite a nice amber, gold amber, I would say. Yeah, it's quite bright for a, for an unfiltered cider, but it's you know it's definitely hazy a little bit. Let's pour it into our glass. There we go, our tasting glass. Yeah, and um, give it. I have an idea. I know what I'm going to use this for. So. Previously, I've noticed on these films when I'm swilling my glass around like this, I'm also talking at the same time, and you can't hear me because it's too loud. So what I'm going to do is do it like that. How about that? You can actually hear what I'm saying now. So let's swirl it around so we can um, get some nice aromatics going in the glass. Let's stick our noses in. Oh man! So these guys, all their ciders are intensely appley. I mean, I think I've said this before, but it, it, it's, it has to be stated. The really intense, the fruit in this is incredible. It's wild yeast, <clears throat> but they're not aged in oak. Um, so you don't get much, um, I'm not sure if they go through malolactic fermentation. I, I think they must, but they don't get any sort of really crazy farmy flavors or funky flavors. <clears throat> um, man, really nice apple. The, 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 the acidity there is like, I mean, I think there's like, it smells like there's, there's acid in it. We have to try to determine that, but it certainly smells like it's in the city. A bit of malic acid, so green apple acid, like lactic acid as well, I assume. Um, what else is in there? It reminds me of Calvados or something a bit. And that's what I'm saying to say as well, because that's, that's apple base, but still it's, it's a distinctive aroma, if you like. It smells like it smells dessert like is what it smells like. Let's have a little taste. Mm. It's quite a lot going on and quite a compressed amount of time with this, I think. So it's quite sweet, it's a medium. It's quite a lot of sugar in it though, for a medium. But it's got quite good tannins as well. It feels like it's going to be light, and then the tannins just kick in, start coating your mouth, which is nice. Um, it's sugary, but it's a lighter sugar. It's not like a demerara dark sugar flavour. It's like it tastes like melon. It tastes like honeydew slash cantaloupe melon. That's what it tastes like. More than apple. Definitely more than apple. That's nice. I don't recall getting that quite strongly on the side before. A little bit of acidity, not too much, just enough. I'd say there's more of a a kick of tanning than there is of acidity. Um, yeah. There's lots of things going on in different directions. It feels like it could be out of whack, but actually it's not. I like all the things it's doing. Um, first time I've had um, 
they still said from these guys I've only ever had their bottle stuff before and I will actually do some reviews of their bottle stuff as well um, yeah I like this I like this I just bought it on a whim as well didn't try it just went for it um, glad I did I shall be drinking plenty of this six uh, percent you know so it's gonna warm you up a bit but it's not gonna knock your socks off like some of the ciders that we talk about can a bit stronger than their bottle stuff they tend to be mid five percent five point five ish but still yeah good cider well done secret orchard so that was the secret orchard wild rabbit uh still cider um based in somerset i better say that as well um up on exmoor beautiful part of the world had a lovely drive up there yesterday the sun was out um not many cars around for obvious reasons uh yeah strange yet brilliant at the same time anyway guys if you can get hold of some of this get hold of some of this give it a taste i really like it uh yeah so i will be back soon with some more cider to try